What's happening guys? I'm Dan. Welcome back to another episode of Poor Michigan Reviews. We're indeed diving into a Michigan beer, guys. It's going to be the formula from one of our favorite breweries, Arvon Brewery. Uh, it is finally time for another tippa, guys. We have a triple IPA, if you will. This is coming in at 11% ABV. It's a triple New England style IPA hop with Vic Secret, Mosaic, and Centennial hops. I really like those hops, guys. So this is a massive beer that I'm ex I'm super excited to try for you guys, or with you guys, I should say. Um, can Art is off the chain, guys. It is absolutely sick. Their Can Art seems to be getting better and better. I know they have other people collab with them and kind of uh, give them ideas, or they use other people's artwork in collaboration with their uh, Can Art or beer, if you will. That's super awesome. I'm very, very excited. Uh, January 5th is the Candon date. Today is the 22nd. So guys, less than three weeks fresh. I love that. This beer came into inventory like, uh, what was it? A couple days ago. Yeah, I just want to say a couple days ago. Maybe even yesterday. I can't remember, to be honest. Um, I think it just came in yesterday. So three weeks fresh from Arvon. We have another monster on our hands. I'm super excited to try this one. Let's crack into this hazy boy. Yes, sir. That's murky. That's cloudy. That's dirty. Uh, that's very, very hazy, guys, with an incredibly massive retaining head on the top of that. That is un. Believable, guys. I mean, it is that is one of the haziest beers I've ever seen. I mean, it's borderline um, just straight up dark orange, like combination of golden orange to dark orange with a little bit of like that golden yellow intertwined in the mix. Um, an absolutely massive white sticky head on the top, guys. That's pretty compacted uh, tightly and above that golden, beautiful. Hazy boy, um, I, I, it just this is looking different than I even remember most beers. I mean, it is so hazy. I mean, I don't know how to describe it really. Like it, it's dark sunset orange when I shine my light into it. It's just unbelievably beautiful to look at. Um, doesn't even have that off grayish tinge to it, so that's a good sign, guys. Sometimes I look at that as unhealthy, but I've I've never quite seen a beer that pretty to be honest. I mean, it's 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 next level amazing. Um, I'm trying to chat a little bit to let this dissipate. That head is hanging on, guys. Even at 11%, it's trying to dissipate a little bit. Uh, but that's super tightly packed in there. Um, again, just I can already smell like a burst of tropical and, and, and like piney stickiness hitting my, my nose. Um, I'm really excited to try this one with you guys. I, I don't know how many times I could say that. So let's try to get our Greek schnoz shoved into this glass, guys. This beautiful TQ glass from Hoplot. And we will see what we're working with. Yeah, for as bright and tropical as it is and citrusy, it's got this dank, sticky, kind of like oily um, uh, pininess to it that just kind of radiates off the top. Like it's so like fresh and just green and hot forward and just beautifully packed into that glass, guys. It's it's um, it's so bright and tropical. It's candied. Um, it's it's pithy. It's it's oily. It's got all the beautiful arrangements going on in there that you want out of a New England style. It's a New England style on steroids. It smells a bit boozy, like there's a little bit of that complex in there as well, because guys, 11%. Well, I'm going to stop talking. I'm going to start drinking. Let's go to a cheers. Ooh. So it is a bit boozier than I thought. Um... That back end is quite bitter, 11%, quite bitter. Uh, the juiciness, certainly not as forward as I thought it was gonna be uh, based off the aroma. Uh, it's kind of dank, it's kind of a, a little bit herbally on the back end. And it's got a little bit of like floral earthiness that I tend to get from them quite often. Man, it's just, it's like a thick, hazy boy, guys. Like just very, very boozy though. Like, I mean, it's 11%, that's massively uh, uh, malt driven there because it's got this big body to it. I mean, it is. It's that biscuity, uh, crackery, doughy malt, like sourdough bread malt going on in here. Um, it's sticky. It's it's just got a lot of action going on in this big bodied beer, guys. Let me let me see if I can readjust uh, and give you some other notes because I got a lot of booze on that first sip. Mm. 
more pine, dank tangerine, like just dank piney tangerine, just sticky, sticky, oily tangerine, um, thick pine, just thick, thick pine cones in here. Um, bitterness. I, like typically you get this big kind of like juicy bubblegummy forefront. That's not here. This beer's just straight to the point. It's hoppy. It punches you. Um, and then that bitterness kind of slaps you for a second time on the back end. Uh, again, 11%. Definitely not a smooth beer. It, it has some aspects to it that are like citrusy and tropical. Um, I'm not getting as much like peachiness in this beer as I get in some of the other Arvons. Um, but this one's just a big hopped green forward herbally um, just pine bomb guys it's that's what it is I, I wasn't quite expecting it based on the aroma on the first couple uh, smells and sips yeah more grapefruit like pithy grapefruit again dank oily tangerine um, there's a little bit of generic tropical. I don't get as much of that stone fruit thing that I get from them often. But again, guys, boozy. It's kind of a sipper. It's very heavy, big bodied. Um, it's it's a monster. You're going to want to sip on this one. It's not one you're going to want to put down uh, quickly. Or if you do, you're going to be feeling some type of way. Um, yeah. It's crazy big beer, guys. It's and it, Again, I think the main takeaway, drinkability, um, not as good as some of their other beers, even the 10 and 11% beers. This one's got more bitterness. It's more stringent. It's more hop uh, forward. It kind of punches you, and then it slaps you, you know, after you get punched in the mouth, guys. It's not, um, it's not the most... Uh, delicate or soft on the palate, if you will. It's It's got some harshness to it, definitely. If you like IPAs, this one's for you. It's an IPA on steroids. Um, tons of hops in here. A little bit of that like perfumey floral. Almost a little bit too much because it plays with the booziness. Um, yeah, guys. I was excited. This one is not one of my favorites that Arvon has done as of late. Uh, but it'll get the job done at 11%. Uh, rating, I'm going to go... Three nine out of five, crazy beer, crazy aromatics, crazy looks, uh, but the booziness a little bit overwhelming. I want some more balance. I wanted some more juicy forwardness on the front end, guys. Didn't really get that. So if you love IPAs, this one's for you. I typically do. I just was not expecting what I was getting today. Again, a bit boozy, but a lot of ABV packed in here, guys. Three nine out of five. This has been the formula from Arvon. Thank you so much for clicking on the video. I'm Dan, guys. I will catch you on the next one. Cheers.